In this video, we're going to show the process of performing a backup to a cloud-based backup set. So if I want to do an immediate backup, I click on Backup on the left, and click on Backup again to get into the Backup Summary window. And typically I would go in and I would pick my source, whatever hard drive it is I want to backup, or what folder I want to backup. And I pick my destination, and uh, in this case I've already created a cloud-based backup set. And I would just select Backup in order to start the backup. Retrospect will scan the drive, and then after it scans the drive, it's going to cache 600 megabytes of data to a local folder. After Retrospect has cached that data to a local folder, it will then begin uploading that data to your cloud. So as you can see, Retrospect says uploading 600 megabytes, 100% remaining. It's 100% of the first 600 megabyte file that's being uploaded to the, to the cloud. If I was backing up you know, two or three terabytes or two or three gigabytes of data uh, more specifically, then it's going to do it in 600 megabyte chunks. So first it'll upload the first 600 megabytes, and then after it's done uploading this, the first 600 megabytes, um, then you're going to see this percentage reset back to 100% while it uploads the next 600 megabytes, and then it'll count down and then reset back to the next 600 megabytes as it uploads the data to the cloud in 600 megabyte chunks. If I'm doing an incremental backup of, let's say, only 10 megabytes, then it will only have to upload 10 megabytes. And so it'll cache the first 10 megabytes, and then it will then upload 10 megabytes to the cloud. And then you'll see, instead of uploading 600 megabytes, it would say uploading 10 megabytes because that's all that it needs to be copied. But anything that's over 600 megabytes is going to have to get cached first and then uploaded. And then it'll cache more data and then upload more data.